Crittenden's self-imposed exile from national politics, however, didn't last. Taylor died in office in July of 1850 and was replaced by his vice president, Millard Fillmore. Now, as many of you know, Taylor is buried in Louisville. It's actually called the Zachary Taylor uh, Cemetery. Fillmore succeeded where his predecessor had failed by luring Crittenden back to Washington, this time naming him as the Attorney General for the second time. Upon taking his place in Fillmore's cabinet, the Attorney General wasted little time in voicing his commitment to the Union and becoming a strong advocate for the Compromise of 1850. As we, you may recall, that was considered Clay's last legislative accomplishment, um, the effort to somehow broker the various differences between different sections of the country and to hold the Union together. Uh, this is not a speech about Clay, but interestingly enough, I would just add uh, parenthetically, uh, Clay put all of the separate pieces into one bill, and it was defeated. And Clay was so upset, he literally left town. He didn't feel good, he was aging, and he was sick, and he was discouraged, and he left town. And a younger senator from Illinois named Stephen A. Douglas, who subsequently became rather well known for the Lincoln-Douglas debates and for running against Lincoln in 1860, took the bill apart, and it passed piece by piece. And only four senators voted for each of the pieces. Interesting legislative strategy. 